Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a short series of videos that I'm doing about the digital electronics needed for doing uh, addition, um, for which is kind of part of the basics of uh, computing. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do subtraction because it's an extension of the addition. Uh, so this is uh, part of a much larger um suite of videos that I'm doing which go from the principles of uh, electronic logic gates and show how to combine a load of them together to make a, a fairly simple 4-bit uh, CPU. It's, uh, it's quite a long suite. There is a roadmap as to what's happening with that in the description underneath. Uh, and also in the description underneath there is a link to the uh, where you can get hold of this software that I'm using, which is called Digital Works. It's free digital electronic simulation software. Um, so uh, I'm using simulation software partly because I don't need to buy a whole load of uh, bits to show you, but also because it's easier to show these principles using a simulator uh, than it is to actually do it with the hardware. Um, so that's kind of my preamble. Uh, we've been doing in this suite of videos adding. We've built up from a half adder to a full adder to a four bit adder. Uh, and now I'm going to show you how to do subtraction using an adder. Uh, so for this, you need to either uh, know something in uh, binary number theory or trust me when I tell you this, because I'm not going to go through why this works. Uh, but if you want to subtract one number from another, uh, from another in, in binary. One way of doing it is to take the number that uh, you want to subtract and then turn it into what's called the twos complement of that number and then add that instead of subtracting it. And the twos complement is uh, basically the uh, the inverted digit. So wherever you've got a one digit, you, you turn it into a zero digit. Uh, and that makes the thing called the ones complement, and then you add one to that uh, to make the twos complement. As it happens, we've got an adder here, which will allow us to add one into a process because we've got our C in, our carry in. Um, so uh, that's it's exactly for this reason and for others that um, we use the, for the least significant bit in the adder, we used a, a full adder rather than a half adder. Um, so what I'm going to do is disconnect these. This this is the output that we had at the end of the last video uh, where we created the 4-bit the adder. I'm not going to create a separate macro for a uh, subtraction. Um, I could do, but actually quite a bit later on down the line in this suite of videos, we're going to combine addition subtraction and some other functions together uh, into what's called an arithmetic logic unit. Uh, but we're not quite ready for that yet. So uh, the reason why I've disconnected those is because uh, in order to do subtraction, as I said, we need to invert this signal. So I'm going to put uh, interject into these lines for uh, not gates. And uh, let's just wire this up. It won't take me very long, so I'm not going to fast forward with this occasion. Okay, so the thing we need to remember when we're doing subtraction is that we need to make sure that this C in line is high in order for that to work. And we're just going to uh, go into simulation. I'm going to turn all these three off. Right. Um, and the other thing to know is that the C out won't, it's slightly illogical uh, in terms of how we're thinking about this because we're doing this inversion then addition. So zero minus zero is zero. Let's put 10 in here. And as you might imagine, 10 minus zero is. Uh, zero, but let's take another smaller number from that. 10 minus 3 should be 7. So 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. And 7 is 0, 1, 1, 0. And that's correct. So the subtraction's happening. 
What happens if we do it the other way around? If we do 3 minus 10? Well, it's going to overflow, but the C out is inverted in terms of that. So 3 minus 10 gives us... Uh, uh, it should be minus 7. And what's our sum? Is this behaving as we want it to? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, so maybe it's not accurate when we're doing, um, when we underflow, as it were. What is this number that we've got? Uh, it's 8, 9. 3 minus 10 is 9? No. Right. So let's stick with. Uh, numbers that we can understand the output. So we've got 11 minus 10 is 1. I've got a C out there. So uh, that didn't take very long. That's just showing the principles of um, sticking two numbers together to do uh, subtraction um, and using the inversion and the carry in to, uh, to create subtraction. So uh, in terms of where we're going in uh, in our ability to do maths using digital electronics, we've now got addition and we've got subtraction. Um, the other two uh, main or basic principle arithmetic uh, functions are multiplication. And multiplication can be seen as um, multiply adding things. Um, and division. And division is uh, way more strange and complicated, so I'm not going to even really talk about that. However, that is uh, how to do subtraction, so that's it from me for now.